make a uh, big news this past week. So you guys made the top five. I mean, how exciting was that for you and the team? Um, I think we're excited about it. We're proud of what we've been able to do thus far. Um, I actually didn't even talk about it as a team, but I think they're well aware of it. You know, they, they can't hide that big news. And, you know, I, we're just right now just really excited about how our team has improved and how we've played. And we just hope to continue to build on that. Well, I think one um, one of their strong suits is their defense. You know, they hold an Arkansas team to 55. Um, they're aggressive. They make plays. They get steals, um, and and just frustrate the offensive team. So I think that's number one. Number two, I think they're pretty disciplined on the offensive end. They run their sets. They understand who needs to shoot the basketball and and, and where they need to shoot it. Uh, and they're going to be motivated. They play really hard. Um, and uh, they're, you know, they're they're trying to prove something as well. You're expecting a lot of orange in Memorial tomorrow, right? I'm, I'm definitely expecting a lot of orange. Um, the, the, I've talked to a lot of people that are coming. I think our, our players have a lot of uh, folks um, that will be there. Uh, so we, we, we anticipate a pretty good uh, big orange contingency. Pretty late to talk for you guys, especially with Kentucky on Sunday. What's that preparation like for you guys? Um, it is definitely going to be past my bedtime <laughs> during the game. So it's a, it's a tough turnaround. There, there's no doubt about it. Um, so the, the, it's a long day tomorrow. We'll get on over to, to Vanderbilt Wednesday night, and then Thursday is just such a long day. So we're just we're going to try to push everything back, let them sleep in a little bit longer, and try to try to start the day later. Um, and then on the return, uh, the players will actually be on a, a sleeper bus. So hopefully they can get some rest after the game on the trip home. Yeah, so what we try to do, we, we break it up a little bit. We obviously got to get them up and feed them, and we'll have some film session. We'll have a shoot around. We'll have a pregame meal. So, um, but in between those times, they'll they'll have a lot of downtime that they can rest. Um, you don't want them rest. You don't want them laying around the whole day though. So, what we'll do, I think, uh, getting them in and out, um, it'll be short. Uh, we'll break it up with all the activities that we have to do tomorrow. Kentucky has their game. Yeah, you know, I think um, at this point we want to play our games, you know. Um, but then it, we, you look at it, it is a tight turnaround for us relative to what they're going to be doing for sure. But, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be focused on Vanderbilt. And then when that game is over, then we'll try to figure out how we're going to get our team ready. Uh, regardless of what happens at Vanderbilt, you, you got to get back up and you got to get ready to go on your next game. And, and hopefully, um, hopefully we, can, we can get them there. Obviously, every game is important, especially in the SEC. But when it's Vanderbilt and an in-state opponent like that, does it feel a little more special, especially for you who's from Tennessee? Yeah, I think for me, this game's always going to be different. And um, you know, in-state in-state rivalries. Um, you know, the growing up, um, half of my family was were Tennessee fans, and half my family were Vanderbilt fans, and. Um, I always think this is a this is a big game. I'm very familiar with with Vanderbilt and and uh, Memorial, and uh, it's so unique, obviously with with the the game set up. So uh, it's it's always going to be a game that's I don't want to say more important, but it's 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 always holds something a little bit stronger to me. Just I think with my background. How beneficial was just the sheer number of quality opponents y'all played in non-conference? Kind of have you prepared for this two two week or two games a week gauntlet? I, I think our non-conference schedule did what it needed to do. I think it challenged us. I think it um, we were able to still play a lot of people. We were um, uh, we had some close games and and we came out of it with a lot of confidence. And I think it prepared us for SEC play, as well as you can be prepared for the SEC. I mean, it is every single night. Uh, you have to be great. And, um, you know, this, this league is so, so tough this year. Um, so uh, hopefully, hopefully it did its job. Can you talk about um, Ray Burrell's progress since she's been back? 
Yeah, I think Ray is progressing extremely well. Um, I think she played really well against Ole Miss. I think she followed that up with a really good practice uh, after that game. And, you know, I think her progression is right where we need it to be. I think she's um, fitting in right now seamlessly. I think she's um, taking good shots. I think she's making good decisions. I think she's being aggressive where she needs to be aggressive. And um, I, I feel like, um, you know, not putting her in a pressure situation, but, but allowing her to kind of ease her way back in has been good. And I think, um, you know, every single day, every single day, I think we can see her being a little bit more comfortable. And um, I think that's good for our team. What, what does a player like Ray return, even if she's not a hundred percent, what does her presence do depth-wise for you? How big of a difference is that? Well, I think the, the one thing that, that Ray has always been great at is, is putting the ball in the hole. And I think, you know, just getting her back out there, it gives you one more weapon. She's got great size. Um, right now, I think she's doing a good job defensively. You got to get her a little bit uh, more comfortable getting back on the boards, uh, and that will come. Uh, but I think what, what it does, it just, it just gives you one more really talented player and uh, gives, gives me options. A couple Obviously, more questions. You never want anyone to get hurt, but do you think the Ray getting hurt when she got hurt and just kind of what that forced other players to step into was good for your team in the long term? Well, retrospect, you know, we can look back and see what that injury did to our team, and it, um, it really challenged a lot of our players uh, to rise. And we had to figure some things out. I think not just them challenged to get better, but I think challenged to play through adversity, uh, play with a man down. Uh, I think was um, it, it was great to see our team figure it out, and and honestly, when the, when they were able to play through that, it gave them great confidence that we were able to really carry over. Coach, a couple of questions from Sue Faber with Women'sHoopsWorld.com. The first one: How has Jordan Horston come to step up both her game and her leadership this season as much as she has, and what factors have played roles in that? Well, I think Jordan has um, matured a lot. I think she's grown a lot. I think her experience, that the experience that she had the first two years um, has put her in position right now to walk on the court with great confidence and also um, a different air about herself. Uh, I think she's in better shape now than, than maybe she was the first couple of years. And also, um, you know, I think her her presence on the court offensively and defensively has affected our team in a positive way. Following up on that, you mentioned the air that she plays with now. What does her performance and persona mean to the team this season? And how does she make this team better because of that? Yeah, I think right now she, she makes the team better because she makes a lot of plays. Um, the, other, the other thing she's, you know, her, her plus minus is really strong game in and game out. Um, you know, she's doing a terrific job on the boards. But I think our team has a lot of confidence in Jordan and has a lot of confidence when Jordan is on the court because she can make plays. Uh, she can affect about every play, you know, um, because of, of what she can do uh, on the boards and defensively as well as with the basketball. Kelly, the free throw shooting has slowly inched its way to being better, but, you know, have you seen players really take ownership of that and take it seriously to get that number up? Yeah, our team is, our team is really talking about uh, the work that they're putting in. Uh, I hear it in the middle of the game. I hear our players talking about it. Um, you know, we, we've committed as, as a group to, to working harder and getting more reps, and they, they feel good about that. And they, um, we're, we're helping track it to, to continue to motivate them. But, you know, they're, they're such pleasers. And, and, you know, if there's an area of deficit that we have, they want to be better. They want to get better, and, and I think that's what you're seeing. I, I, mean, I told them, I said, hey, it's, it, it may be slow. You know, that, that, that margin may only just inch up at a time, but that's where we, we've got to at least push it in, um, in a positive direction. Coach, I asked you after the Texas A&M game whether you foresaw uh, Ray Burrell coming back to the starting lineup of obviously another game, and you said she's been in practice. Have you put any more thought towards whether she would? No. We're 15-1. and one. We're probably going to keep it like it is for a while. <laughs> I've lost it. Yes, um, I've so lost all control. So the best I can tell, um, what has happened? Um, our staff came in, great celebrations, and then one time we decided to come in and try to trick them a little bit, just psych, you know, kind of come in stoic, 
and kind of make scare them a little bit and then go crazy on them and then I think because we did that they decided oh we can turn the tables on them so they started turning the tables on us and now it's completely lost we've lost all control completely lost all control so I have no idea what's going to happen next and we're out of it now I mean we just come in and see what's about to happen You know, um, actually, we, we've had different groups meeting this week. Um, um, we call our leadership groups, and that actually came up. And we think it's really important that um, that we maintain the fun. Um, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I don't think we're going to lose it. But I am a firm believer in we can work really hard and have a good time. I think you can do both simultaneously. And I think this team responds well to that. I think they will come out and they will work hard and they will do it with a smile. And I think that's, a, to me, a really good space to be in. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you all.